Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Monday, November 18th, and right now it's 2.23 p.m. And I don't know how true this is, but um, a station... Okay, I got a link in my email. I clicked on it. It goes to Texas News Studio. All right. Um, I'm looking in here. I was trying to find if anybody else was reporting this. Uh, he's just talking about his own other channels. Texas News Studio. Anyway, it's crazy. He makes that noise na -na 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 -na, for like almost a minute and a half. And then you start seeing letters that say White House source flash alert. Okay, flash alert, incoming presidential alert. White House source, Trump made unexpected hospital visit to test for rice and poisoning. Food tester was first rushed to hospital and doctors believe there was exposure to time delayed poison. SQ whatever that is. They know who gave the order. All right, now, in looking for more, sorry, I forgot to stop that. I'm up. Okay. All right. I was trying to find out, was anybody else reporting this? All right, so I pulled up another tab, typed in was President Trump poisoned. All right, here's what I get. Donald Trump, these are the titles of videos. Donald Trump on spy poisoning, quote, looks like the Russians were behind it. That was a year ago. A year ago, a year ago, all about spying, ex-spy poisoning, UK punishes Russia over spy poisoning, President Trump oddly quiet a year ago, a year ago. Trump points to Putin and former spy poisoning a year ago, three years ago, two years ago. Now, don't you think if anybody else was reporting it, there'd be something. Oh, wait. Nope, that's got to do with health care prices two days ago. Why is that way down there? I guess because it doesn't have to do with poisoning. President Trump delivers remarks on honesty and transparency in health care prices. Okay. That's really weird, though. President Donald Trump public impeach proceedings streamed four days ago. For poisoning of ex-spy and his daughter one year ago. President Trump admin sanctions Russia for poisoning of ex-spy and his daughter. Okay, like I said, that was a year ago. All of these about poisoning were, are old. Okay. Trump is afraid of being poisoned, loves McDonald's. That was a year ago. That came out a year ago that he would prefer to eat at McDonald's. Well, it turns out the taste tester is his chef. And he has to taste everything before it goes to him and his family. Okay, in this video here, let's see, it was around the one minute... See if I can get him talking. So you hear this noise. I can turn it up. I'm turning it up. An inside source says President Trump's food tasted to became ill after ingesting an unnamed substance, which is why the president made a surprise hospital visit on Saturday. In an official statement, the White House said President Trump visited the Walter Reed Military Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland, for a quick exam and labs. Sounds 
Saturday. Fox News, I haven't gotten a Fox News alert about it. Doctors and staff reportedly found the byproduct of a type of toxin that's very hard to detect and has a time delayed onset of symptoms. Additionally, the toxin is a newer concoction that's not typically tested for since it's not well known, according to the source. The president was later taken to the same facility where a battery of tests were performed to assess whether he had ingested the same toxin. There's an ongoing investigation into the matter. During the Clinton administration, the chief chef was designated the presidential food taster, according to the former White House chef Walter Schieb. According to the Washington Examiner's Pulpit, he said, yeah, the chef is the taster. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. This is Texas news. Does this guy sound like he's from Texas? Anyway, I just thought I'd put it up here. It could be they're trying to keep it hush hush. But this guy sounds like he's from some foreign country, which could be why the video got up. I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm just going to put it out there. It could be a lie. It could be false news. You know, fake news. The tests might have come back negative. Uh, anyway, I'll put the link in the description box and you can listen to the whole thing for yourself. In fact, I didn't even listen to the whole thing. I thought, I got to check on this. I paused it. And I started looking for other sources. In fact, let me go to Google. Because there may not be a YouTube video up on it. Was President Trump sent to hospital Saturday possible poisoning? Now, don't you think that would be the first thing that would be up here? February, Vanessa Trump was taken to a Manhattan hospital. July 29th. Someone else. This must be the ex. Um, but this is not a year ago. Mr. Navalny, 43, was sent from the hot government hospital where he, Mr. Navalny, the most high pro profile critic of President Vladimir Putin and his government, was rushed. Dot, dot, dot. He had called Drew, his, he had called, drew thousands of people in Moscow on Saturday. Anyway, no, there's nothing in the news about it. So we just need to listen out for more and we'll see what goes on. I, I guess if you get to that soon enough, you can make him throw up or, I don't know. I don't know. I put it out there. Maybe false news. I'll just state that right up front. But where did they get it? How did they get that information? Did they just pull it out of thin air and make it up? And does anybody know about this Texas news source? I'd like to know. Does anybody follow them? It'd be good to know if they're... Uh, often putting out stories that are never come, you know, never end up being anything. Well, anyway, I'll let you go with that, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.